Children with achondroplasia, which is the most common form of dwarfism, have problems throughout their life. Yes, diagnosis is important, and yes, management's important, but really what families want, what children want is, well, what can you do to help me, doc? That's the thing that has really driven me the last 10 years to find better options and treatments for families. So when I came to the Murdoch, I wanted to manage and treat patients with genetic conditions. The trust that the Murdoch Children's Research Institute and Royal Children's have in the community is second to none, and therefore families are willing to put their children through clinical trials to hopefully get to better treatments. About 10 years ago, I heard about a precision treatment specifically for achondroplasia that had been successful in mice. And I thought that this could potentially be a game-changing treatment for this condition. The trials exceeded my greatest expectations. Over the last eight years, we've firstly been able to show that the medication is safe in children, and we've been able to show that the growth rate in children treated with this medication approximates that of children without achondroplasia. It's like trying to take your car for a drive with the handbrake on. What this drug does is releases that handbrake so the car can get up to average speed again. For the children in these trials, not only are we decreasing the significant medical complications that they would have otherwise experienced, we're making an everyday impact on their quality of life. Children who have not been able to get to the top of a climbing wall can get to the top of a climbing wall. Children who have not been able to independently toilet themselves can now do so. And children who have been forced to ride the teacups at the Royal Show when everyone else is riding the roller coaster can join their classmates.